Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at probably what is the final form of my synthesizer. Um, I responded to a few comments uh, about the last uh, about my last video. Um, this is very much a proof of concept design. I do want to build a couple more synthesizers, much more complicated and intricate ones. And this is just so I can figure out how all the code works, how all the bits work. And I will be designing a couple more w that will hopefully expand on this. So yeah, this is just the final bit to show you everything that fits into this basic synthesizer. Uh, I'll publish the schematic for this and the code for this um, soon. If you want to keep a lookout on my blog, I'm actually changing up how I'm posting code and notes for my videos, so keep an eye out for that. But let's go ahead and walk through what I've got. Um, as you can see, I've added quite a few more wires. It's uh, actually impossible, at, almost impossible at this point to see the yeah, Atmega in the center. Uh, I've added four potentiometers, so, which will hopefully control things, as you'll see. So let's go ahead and start with some sound. <laughs> Okay, so basic sine wave, and again, triangle, saws, and and your square, as well as flat and noise, which we'll talk about in a second. So yeah, that not much has changed there. Still controlled by uh, my keyboard, which is running through the interpreter on my PC. I'm still looking for an actual MIDI keyboard because I want a MIDI interface to this, not a USB interface, because it's less components I'd have to deal with. So there's that. Okay, so let's t start with the. Let's talk about the knobs. Let's start with this knob back here. Uh, so I'm going to choose two waveforms, which will sound completely different, a sine wave and a saw. And if I adjust this knob... That adjusts the balance between the two, so I can mix. I, I have a variable mix of how much each oscillator uh, is added into the final mix. So this is right about balance. More sine wave, and then more saw. So there's that. And again, any two can be mixed. Okay, so there's the balance knob, and you might have heard a little effect. That's this knob here. So this is the detune knob. Uh, this adjusts a uh, measurement called sense, anywhere from negative 100 to 100, and oh, obviously negative positive in both directions. So there's that. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard with this to get a center, so, so there's always a little bit of detune. So a uh, little error, but I mean, I'll fix it in time. And there's this knob. which adjusts the octave of the second oscillator. So I can make the second oscillator very low and then make it weighted towards the first oscillator. So I've got very much weighted on the sine and very little on the saw, but the saw is much lower, so it's much more powerful. But it still comes through.
and again, I can still detune it. So I can go lower. And I can go higher as well. It ranges from negative two octaves to positive two octaves. Okay, so that's these three knobs. I'll come back to this knob in just a little bit. I talked last time about bank switching. So what I can do is if I hit this yellow button here, that's a save button. So I can save this preset, move to another preset, unlock it, and then... And again, I can save that, move on to another, oh, that's lock, okay, so I can move on to another, and then I can unlock it, yeah, hit the wrong one, and then again, I can just come back to the first one, and it's still saved, all of the things are saved, all of the knob settings are saved, and it locks it, so that if you tweak anything from one bank to another, it doesn't freak with it. So everything stays consistent. So this has five banks with uh, locking. So pretty cool. And I guess that brings us just the last feature I added. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reset this. Okay. Down here, there's a button. If I hit that. Hit it again. That's what this knob adjusts. I've added I've added an arpeggiator. With variable speed, so I can take it from slow. So I'm able to just hit the button and then choose a note sequence. The first note I press is the root note. And then every note I add on top of that adds a relative value. So I can say up one, up two, down one, down two. Hit it again. Saves it. And again, it arpeggiates at a variable speed. Uh, oh, one more thing. Almost forgot. First video I did, I mentioned I was very happy I could get a noise feature. Um, I tweaked it. In the second video, the noise feature didn't work at all. I was kind of disappointed. But I brought it back, and with the addition of this weight knob, I'm able to adjust the amount of noise. So the noise works on any of the oscillators. That's a little sharp. I'm going to bring that down. So I have an adjustable amount of noise. So I have an adjustable amount of noise on any oscillator. And again, that can be saved as its own setting. So there we are. That's my basic synthesizer. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Again, I will be publishing all the features. Um, keep a look out on my blog. It's in the description for when I tell you how to find all my new stuff. So I'm Human Hard Drive. 
Thanks for watching.